Welcome to the new joining us on Facebook Live or who will be watching this later on YouTube. As we gather this morning, may the Spirit of the Lord work within us. As we gather, we glorify the Lord. And as our hearts begin to worship, may we be blessed because we can. If you are able, please stand. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. The Lord, Lord is, is risen, risen indeed. Hallelujah. Dear friends in Christ, here in the presence of Almighty God, let us humble ourselves and with penitent and obedient hearts confess our sins so that we may obtain forgiveness by His infinite goodness and mercy. Most merciful God, we confess, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have, have done and by what we have left undone. We have not left you with our whole heart. We have, have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will, and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Come, come Holy Spirit, Spirit come. come. Spirit, come. Fill us to overflowing. Be our Be God, God, Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, come. Spirit, show us your power. Be our, Be our teacher, teacher, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Lead us into all truth. Come. Spirit, be our healer. Heal us, Holy Spirit. Come. Come, Holy Spirit. Heal us and, and make us whole. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. O God of peace, you have told us that in returning and rest we shall be saved. In quietness and confidence shall be our strength. By the might of your Spirit, lift us, we pray, to your presence, where we may be still and know that you are God. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, with you and the Holy Spirit, lives and reigns, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O God, whose blessed Son made himself known to his disciples in the breaking of bread, open the eyes of our faith that we may behold him in all his redeeming work, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated for the reading of Scripture. A reading from the books of Acts. One day, Peter and John were going up to the temple at the hour of prayer, at three o'clock in the afternoon. And a man lame from birth was being carried in. People would lay him daily at the gate of the temple called the Beautiful Gate so that he could ask for alms from those entering the temple. When he saw Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked them for alms. Peter looked intently at him as to John and said, Look at us. And he fixed his attention on them, expecting to receive something from them. Peter said, I have no silver or gold, but what I have I give you. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, stand up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and raised him up, and immediately his feet and ankles were made strong. Jumping up, stood and began to walk, and he entered the temple with them, walking and leaping and praising God. All the people saw him walking and praising God, and they recognized him as one who used to sit and ask for alms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to them. Mm -hmm. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Let us recite together the word of Psalm 105 as printed in our bulletin. Give yeah, thanks, thanks to the Lord, Lord and call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. 
sing to him, sing praises to him, and speak of all his marvelous words. Glory in his holy name. May the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Search for the Lord and his strength, continually on his his face. Remember the marvels he has done, his wonders and the judgments of now. O offspring of Abraham, his servant, O children of Jacob, his chosen, he is the Lord of God. His judgments prevail in all the world. He has always been mindful of his covenant, the promise he made for a thousand generations. We are able to stand from the reading of the gospel. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, Lord, Lord Christ. Christ. Now on that same day, the first day of the week, two of the disciples were going to a village called Emmaus about seven miles from Jerusalem and talking with each other about all these things that had happened. While they were talking and discussing, Jesus himself came near and went with them, but their eyes were kept from recognizing him. And he said to them, What are you discussing with each other while you walk along? They stood still, looking sad. Then one of them, whose name was Cleopas, answered him, Are you the only stranger in Jerusalem who does not know the things that have taken place there in these days? He asked them, What things? They replied, The things about Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet mighty in deed and word before God and all the people, and how our chief priests and leaders handed him over to be condemned to death and crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one to redeem Israel. Yes, and besides all this, it is now the third day since these things took place. Moreover, some women of our group astounded us. They were at the tomb early this morning and when they did not find his body there, they came back and told us that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who said that he was alive. Some of those who were with us went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said, but they did not see him. Then he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are! and how slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have declared. Was it not necessary that the Messiah should suffer these things and then enter in his glory? Then, beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he, had, he interpreted to them the things about himself in all the scriptures. As they came near the village to which they were going, he walked ahead and he was going on. But they asked him strongly, saying, Stay with us, because it is almost evening, and the day is now nearly over. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to them. Then their eyes were opened, and they, and they recognized him, and he vanished from their sight. They said to each other, Were not our hearts burning within us while he was staying, while he was talking to us on the road, while he was opening the scriptures to us? That same hour, they got up and returned to Jerusalem, and they found the eleven and their companions gathered together. They were saying, The Lord has risen indeed, and he has appeared to Simon. Then they told what had happened on the road, and how he had been made known to them in the breaking of the bread. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord Christ. Christ. You may be seated. 
So may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable to you, O God, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. 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 Today is the Wednesday in, the, in Easter week, and the readings today tell us about what happened after the resurrection. On Sunday, we celebrated the story of the resurrection, and now we continue throughout Easter week to reflect on the events of that week. Powerful, powerful things happening. On Friday, things were looking gloomy, and uh, gloomy or gloomy? Gloomy. <laughs> gloomy, L, not R. Gloomy. And uh, but Sunday was another day, and we continue to see uh, the story gets better and better. The story from the book of Acts, of course, this is a little later in the story. At this point, Jesus had risen and uh, showed himself to as many as 500 people and had ascended to heaven. He had promised the uh, disciples that they would receive power and uh, that they would be able to be witnesses in Jerusalem and in Samaria and in the rest of the world and to the end of the world. And the Holy Spirit had come. They had received the Holy Spirit in Acts chapter 2. And here they are living or operating in the post-Pentecost time, post-resurrection, uh, post-Pentecost. It was a period, a uh, season of great power and of great yield, of great manifestation of God's power. And what happened still happens today when people's lives are turned upside down. The man who was lame was also trying to make the most he could, asking for people to give him something to eat for arms, and he encountered Peter and John, and he got much more than he imagined. And that's truly the promise of God. When we come to God, sometimes we will receive much more than we imagined. And my prayer always, every time I read this, I said, God, how I pray that you give us much more than we imagine. Much more than we imagine. His life was turned around. He stood up and walked. And the beauty of this story, he went to the temple to give thanks to God. And people recognized him. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him, what God had done. The psalmist, of course, reminds us that these things were not new, that God had acted in years past, and God is a good God. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make known his deeds among all the people. Glory, sing to him, sing praises to him, and speak of all his marvelous works. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. And so we come this morning with our own situations coming to this God who acted in this way. The Gospel reading, of course, it tells us about that time of transition when people are still wondering what is going on and confused. And sad, 
that one who had been so good had been crucified and killed, but now there is a rumor that he might be alive. And then, doing the most they could do, providing hospitality, even in their grief, even in their confusion, they did the right thing. They received much more than a guest. They realized Jesus himself was with them. And my prayer is that in the midst, even in the midst of confusion, in the midst of wonder, in the midst of disappointment, that we be the best we can be, that we do the most we can do. And sometimes we will receive a lot more than we imagine. And I pray that God will grant us in this season a lot more than we imagine. All of us here have things that we are going through that are challenging, that are difficult. Some, like the lame person, are physical, physical illness, and others are emotional situations and struggles. But we have a God who is more, who is willing and able to do much more than we ask or imagine. So my prayer is that we continue doing and being the best we can be under the circumstances and trusting God to do what he says he will do even more. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for your word this morning. Thank you for the story of the disciples walking on the journey of Emmaus. That in their time of grief and confusion about what was going on, they offered hospitality to the stranger. And then their eyes were opened and realized that they had welcomed Jesus himself. And they were filled with joy. All fear was gone. They ran back to Jerusalem to tell everyone what had happened. Thank you for the story of the lame man at the gate of the temple. He was just doing what he knew, begging for something to eat. And he received his health back. How I pray that you be so, you manifest your power, this resurrection power, even in our time alone that the lame will walk, that the, those who are heaven sighted will rejoice in your goodness. Lord, that the sick will be healed and restored to all us, even in our time, Lord, right here in this place. Thank you, Lord. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise. We pray this in that mighty name, the name above every name, the only name given for our health and salvation, the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 With those assuring, reassuring words, let us name before God those for whom we offer our prayers this morning. Lord, we bring before you all those who have asked for our prayers, remembering especially Kim, Neil, Vicky, Ashley, Stacy, John, Amanda, David, Joanne, Lee, Jan, Brandy, Deborah, Louise, Beverly, Sharon, John, Maddie, Anna, Dolly, Debbie, Bishop Michael, Benelanda, 
Mary Frances, Mary Kane, Haley, Agatha, Katie, Alice, Bishop Norman, Thomas, Ryan, Mark, Julie, Darren, Deacon Charlie, Ray, Tiffany, Megan, Dan, Lisa, Emma, Barbara, Sophia, David, Brock, Janet, John, Mandy, Terry, Mary Ann, Mary Ann, Colin, Bar, Yael, Pascal, Helene, Mary Ellen, Montana, Scott, Charlotte, Annette, Ray, Jeffrey, Kenan Brandon, Emma, Emmanuel, all those who are believed, all those with COVID-19 virus, the staff and children at our school, and at the South Park Ministries, many and many others of all. God the Father, your will for all people is health and salvation. We, we praise and thank you, O Lord. God the Son, you came that we might have life and might have it more abundantly. We, we praise, praise you and thank you, O Lord. God the Holy Spirit, you make our bodies the temple of your presence. We, we praise you and thank you, O Lord. Holy Trinity, one God, in you we live and move and have our being. We, we praise, praise and thank, thank you, O Lord. Lord, grant your healing grace to all who are sick, injured, or disabled, that they may be made whole. Hear us, yes. O Lord of life. Heal and restore all those devastated by war and violence, especially those in Israel and the Palestinian territory, Ukraine, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Sudan, and other areas where there is turmoil. Hear us, so Lord of life. Grant to the dying peace and a holy death. And uphold by the grace and consolation of your Holy Spirit those who are bereaved. Hear us, so Lord of life. Bless physician and all others who minister to suffering. Grant them wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience. Hear us, yes. O Lord of life. Mend broken relationship and restore those in emotional distress to soundness of mind and serenity of spirit. Hear, Hear us, us O Lord, Lord of life. Grant to all who seek your guidance and to all who are lonely, anxious, or despondent, knowledge of your will and an awareness of your presence. Hear, Hear us, us O Lord, Lord of life. You are the Lord who does wonders. You, you have declared God. your power among the people. With you, O oh Lord, is the way of life. And in, in your light we see light. Hear us, O oh Lord of life. Heal Hear us, us and make us whole. Almighty God, give us life and health. Send your blessing on all who are sick, and upon those who minister to them. That our weakness may be vanquished by the triumph of the risen Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. At this point, I'm going to take a moment of silence to bring before the Lord all those things that concern you the most, asking Him to touch and speak to every situation to bring about the healing and hope that we so desperately need.
we are reminded once again that you are our deliverer. And there is nothing, nothing that you cannot do. And so bring all these situations, Lord, to you. Manifest your power, O God. Come quickly, O God, to bring healing and hope to the heart of the world. Thank you, Lord. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. If you wish to be anointed, I invite you to stand. Mighty Lord, who is a strong tower to all who put their trust in you, to whom all things in heaven and on earth and on the earth bound obey, be now and evermore be of your fence, and make you know that the only name under heaven given for health and salvation is the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 The peace of the Lord be always with you. And, and also with you. you. Walk in love as Christ loved us and offered himself for us, an offering and sacrifice to God.
wash away my sin and cleanse me from my celebrate this holy Eucharist and thanks to God for the blessings of our lives, for his love and his power that raised Jesus from the dead, and from the promise, for the promise that we too will be able to overcome the triumph over every evil. But also intercession on behalf of those who continue to struggle, those who are hopeless, that God in his goodness may lift them up. If you are able, please stand. The Lord be with you. And, and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up, up to the, the Lord. Lord. And ask your thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right, right to give him thanks and praise. praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing. Always and everywhere to give thanks to you. Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. But chiefly are we bound to praise you for the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. For he is the true Paschal Lamb who was sacrificed for us and has taken away the sin of the world. By his death he has destroyed death and by his rising to life again he has won for us everlasting life. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn, proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious Father, infinite love you made us for your son. When we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you in your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. When the night was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, O God, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples and said, Hey, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. When he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ has risen, Christ will come again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer him these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit, to be for your people, the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in you. Sanctify us also, that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us, with all your saints, into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him, with him, and in him. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. 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 Now, the Savior Christ has taught us, we are going to pray. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, Therefore let us keep the feast. Hallelujah. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you. Feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Gracious Father, we give you praise, praise and thanks for this holy communion of the body of the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, the, the pledge of our redemption. redemption. And we pray that it may bring us forgiveness of our sins, strength in our weakness, and everlasting salvation. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now may God the Father bless you, God the Son heal you. God the Holy Spirit give you strength. May God the Holy and Undivided Trinity guard your body, save your soul, and bring you safely to his heavenly country where he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. 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 Let us go forth.